Today I want to show you something not regular, you cannot see it every day and everywhere. That's the 1974 BMW 2002 and in my opinion it's a super nice car because it is a truly raw organic car. It is a manual transmission, 4 speed, it is a carburetor, it has 4 cylinder engine with 100 horsepower and honestly when you open the hood if you know what kind of car Moskvich is that's exactly what it's sitting under the hood on this car uh, believe me or not but back in ussr the people used to do exactly the same engine because they just basically copied this car and made the moskvich so that's the car that's a truly legend and back in the days it used to be not only famous car everywhere all around the world but they also use it for the rally so basically this car they've been tuning a little bit the suspension but transmission engine basically uh, only the carburetor they've been exchanging for the rally one there is a several modifications about this car you can find online or maybe you know the history of this car so this car especially it was made for united states you can tell it by looking at the bumpers so the bumpers a little bit off the car so they are kind of wider on it so that's uh, because they didn't have the airbags before and just to save the uh, pedestrians that's just to save the people you might gonna hit so they a little bit raise the bumpers from the car on the back same as on the front so we do have a cluster that's the mileage means this car was made especially for us market but it is in great condition uh, it is worth money and this car gonna appreciate its value over the years so right now it is a historical car and it is a collectible but this unit especially it's not the collectible and i'm gonna tell you why it's not but in general it is a super nice car to have one if you have some money to put it on the side and just to keep this car in your garage or somewhere on the street but cover it because the california sun gonna destroy every paint or every plastic piece inside or outside this car you have to buy it and keep it just because every sunday when you're gonna start it up at six or seven in the morning and drive it down the road it doesn't matter where you live in you're gonna enjoy it a lot and you're gonna appreciate old style bmw especially when it's a manual carburetor four speed beautiful bmw 2002 so this car back in the days they used to spend a lot of money for the materials so if you're gonna check the handles it is a it is a chrome metal handles and the push button it's really hard it's like the g-wagon look at the door look at the glass so there is no frame on this door and it's back in 70s i think this car was producing from 60 68 or something like that so that's super cool i mean the subaru they were not exist yet at that time the way they were doing it just look at that that's a just piece of art if you would ask me right now because nobody else can do this so all the details about the door all the details about the interior they kind of right now look so weird but back in the days it used to be it used to be normal so like the pedals for example they are going from the floor all the way up it's like on the huge trucks the big one when you're driving it you're going to see the same way pedals going up that's kind of weird and same time when you're trying to switch the pedals you like touching yourself <laughs> you like touching your both feet so it's not that comfortable but same time it is adjustable you can do so so what about the handle to open the door that's the same handle to close the door and it's super weird but same time it's super cool nobody else doing that and nobody else did that before i think so so the locks you can see a lot of locks in that generation any kind of car even the soviet union they've been using kind of similar lock system but right now g-wagon i think they're still using kind of same locks that's why g-wagon and this bmw have about the same sound when you opening or closing this door so all the moldings 
they done from the pieces of metal and that's why they still exist they not falling apart look at the glasses i mean all the glasses they are factory tinted and it is what we have here dura glass so they basically tinted and they kind of uh bluish a little bit and it's 1974 you know that's that's super interesting the way you're gonna open the hood it's not just a regular regular handle to pump the hood there is a special mechanism so what you have to do you have to unlock it you have to lift it up and only after when you're gonna lift it up you can see the idea of the lock that's super cool and uh, you're probably never gonna see it again the way they made this one so what's going on under the hood like i said there is a four cylinder engine and it looks exactly like the car must reach back from ussr so there is a lot of modifications being made on this car looks like in my opinion first of all they've been trying to restore the space under the hood and they did paint it they didn't pull the engine out they put some hoses uh new one some old one i think that's for the heater they just basically cut them and just drop it over there so nobody needs heater in california there is some vacuum valve right there it's disconnected i don't know what it goes to and uh, why it's disconnected but looks like this car doesn't need it anymore so there is kind of old style relay again you're never gonna see those on uh, new cars those are fuses and we do have a spare fuses in a glove compartment so <clears throat> basically that's old style car and all the parts on this car they are available online you can buy it on the ebay and all the stuff here you can do it yourself so and i think that's what the people been doing it they've been buying those stickers put it on here there but they missing a lot of parts and i think again it's not the uh, it's not a big deal because the car itself looks good it drives great and it still holds the value but why it's not collectible i'm going to show it to you from the other angle because all the rusty pieces they just covered it with paint but they didn't weld it they didn't fix it right so the car was not restored the way it's supposed to be to be the collectible and i think in my opinion because again it's it has only seven digit uh vin number i can only tell what month and the year the car was produced but i can cannot tell you the history of the car so basically i cannot pull the carfax on this car even by plate i was trying to but i cannot so i have no idea what kind of uh what kind of life this car lived and where in the united states it used to be before i think it, it was somewhere up north that's why it has a lot of rust right here and right there but in general the body itself feeling good because the way you're driving it it's not shaking it's not trying to fall apart so it's still strong body other than that uh the car is fully original it's fully stock it's not modified i mean if you cut the heater it's not modification it's just illumination so they you basically illuminating some useless options so the trunk area the, it is a huge i mean you can put the dead body or you can put a lot of stuff in the trunk so there is not so many rust but same time i mean it smells gas so bad there is some parts available i think so there is a jack original one that's the old style jack and under there what we have uh, oh we do have a spare tire it's a full-size spare tire that's nice so that's why even this car right now it's on all original condition all the parts they are original bmw there is nothing at the market there is no bundle on the body i mean just slightly a little bit because it was repainted obviously the car cannot survive 50 years of original paint but in general you have to pay a lot of attention to that car especially if you want to spend money for the investment and keep this car longer just to bring more money later on plus you're gonna enjoy it by driving over the weekend or maybe during the days you have to pay attention and take it to inspection or inspect it yourself google it do some research check the problematic the spots like where the rust supposed to be appear where the problematic spots on this exactly on this car could be so you have to check it out because again from the pictures if i'm gonna put it on a face face 
if I'm going to put it on the market somewhere online and you're going to see it by pictures, you're going to say, oh, that's a beautiful original car. I want to buy it. So I am as a seller, I'm going to tell you, you know what, just wire me money and I'm going to ship you the car. So you're going to wire me money. I'm going to ship you the car and you're going to be surprised when you're going to see the huge holes under the hood and it's all rusty. So basically you spend money for uh, some rusty BMW. So it's not good. Please be careful if you buy that kind of car. But same time, if you know what you're buying and you know how to restore it and you know how to bring more value to this car by buying rusty and fixing it yourself, maybe weld it, you know, put some pieces, whatever you know, and uh, buy it from somewhere, you can do so. But again, that's the huge point of discount. So you can push the buyer to drop more price just so you can buy it and restore it to original condition. So that's the cold start. No, no clutch pushed, right? So only the ignition. We turn it on. <laughs> so we're trying to drive it when it's cold but it doesn't want to drive because it's cold so basically it's choking a little bit you want to say uh, god bless you but it's not going to help so because this car has a real carburetor it's not the fake injector back in 1974 the real man used to drive bmw with carburetor on the stick shift. Oi! <laughs> it's just a little bit cold, so we need a little bit time to warm it up, and it's gonna work fine. That's how they all old cars. Oh, that's the zombie. Zombie just passing by because this car looks so scary. So inside, it's in pretty good condition. I mean, except those those panels what cracked after the heat. But in general, all the switches they are working. All the shifters they still good. The dashboard not falling apart. Even we do have a sound system, Kenwood. I don't think that's the original because back in the 70s it was not digital screens yet. I think it's from back back from 80s or maybe early 90s. But it looks so cool. We do have a Blaupunkt speakers on the side. That's what they used to do back in the days. They used to put all the speakers on the bottom of the car. I don't know why, but that's just the style of that. So we do have a four-speed manual transmission and the steering wheel is super huge. I mean, I would say I would put something much smaller and it would be more comfortable. So that's the climate control we have right here. And I have no idea what kind of switch is that. So basically what we do have, we have off, we have a city and we have a highway. So I have no idea what's the highway or city. Maybe that's, maybe something, what do you know? So just tell me about it. Maybe that's the circulation of the air inside the car or not because the climate control we have here, fan, we don't have a AC. Why we need so? But once the engine warm up, you know, the carburetor start working much better if the car is not jumping. Ugh. The seats are not comfortable for sure because it's old and uh, doesn't matter, you're skinny or you're tall and big guy. So just those people who design it, who made it work, I mean, who are you? Like this one, I understand. You lift it up and you pull the seat down so you can go on the back. But those handles, for example, this one, so you can adjust your back part of the seat, that's just crazy. I mean, they hide it. So basically it is deep there and there is a mechanism so you have a handle and it's super short it's super small but same time 
it is kind of reachable and you can adjust your back part of the seat that's super cool what about this one i mean how come they made it so partially invisible but there is a handle so you can move the seat back and forward and it is a 50 years old car that's just insane the way the designers used to work back in the days so at the end of the story i want to tell you this if you are the a guy who just want to buy the old car and drive it with stick shift with, with old carburetor engine you can buy that kind of car without looking at the rust and other pieces what is missing for collectible reason but if you are the collector and you want to buy that kind of car just to keep it over the years and the car gonna appreciate the value but same time you want to show up somewhere uh, you have to pay attention and be more careful when you buy that kind of car but again if you are the guy who just want to buy it and drive it every weekend go to any car meet any cars and coffee and believe me all the people gonna pay attention on your car they're gonna jump inside or outside they're not gonna pay attention on the rust they're just gonna pay attention on the car because it is a beautiful piece of art 2002 bmw back from 70s and it's hard to find those right now i mean they are on the market but they are not in good shape so just pay attention maybe spend a little bit more money be careful to check in it and uh, good luck with that that's the beautiful car was today and i hope i'm gonna get more cars like that because it is a huge history of the automotive industry and uh, i love it so much thank you so much guys for watching it and see you next time put some thumbs up put some comments below if you do have one like that tell me about it i mean how you surviving with this car and if you spend a lot of money for the maintenance to keep it alive or you not good luck Class.